Jim Jordan says he's spoken to whistleblower in Fonnie Willis's office. A whistleblower who was fired by Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis has been interviewed by the Office of House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan R.O., the congressman revealed at the Conservative Political Action Conference on Friday. The committee subpoenaed Willis, who has been leading the Georgia 2020 election subversion case against former President Donald Trump, earlier this month after she failed to send a response to a request for documents and information over her office's use of federal funds. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, R.O., accompanied by Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union, Willis is currently facing unprecedented challenges from Trump and his co-defendants in the case over their allegations that she financially benefited from hiring special counsel Nathan Wade, with whom she was in a romantic relationship, to aid with her investigation into the former president. Trump is fighting a total of four criminal indictments in his pursuit of the Republican presidential nomination. During a discussion with American Conservative Union Chairman Matt Schlapp, Jordan revealed that the, the committee has still not received subpoenaed information from Willis, noting that the deadline for her to file it is Friday. We haven't heard back from her yet. We'll see what we get from her. But there's a whistleblower in her office who we have talked to, our committee staff, he said. The whistleblower in question is former Fulton County District Attorney's Office employee Amanda Timpson, who was previously heard in audio recordings privately warning Willis in 2021 that her top aide was attempting to misuse federal funds that were part of a $488,000 grant intended to counter local gang activity. Then employee Timpson warned Willis that campaign aide Michael Cuffey intended to use some of the grant to pay for unrelated matters such as computers and travel expenses. Two months later, Willis fired Timpson, and Timpson subsequently filed a complaint in 2022 alleging wrongful termination. The whistleblower, I think she's like 4 foot 11, but Fonnie Willis had seven police escort her out when she fired this lady because this lady raised the concern that Ms. Willis was not following the rules of the grant and the grant dollars in the appropriate manner. Jordan told Schlapp on the main stage at CPAC Friday afternoon, saying Timpson is now in talks with the committee. He told everybody in front of Crystal, Deontay, everybody, we're going to get MacBooks, we're going to do that, we're going to get swag, we're going to use it for travel. I said, you cannot do that. It's a very, very specific threat. Took me off. I questioned Junior DA. There's kids in there from out of the, the, um, the county, all this. Took me off Junior DA. I did not want to do it. He made it look as if I wasn't doing what I needed to do because I questioned him. Because so, I knew for a fact, Mr. Cuffey respectfully did not know what he was doing, so, period. So I respect that is your assessment. Um, it was clear to me that you and Mr. Cuffey were not getting along. And I'm not saying that your assessment is wrong. I want you to really listen to the words I'm saying. Cuffey, and this is my personal opinion to one woman to another, is dangerous to your administration. So DA Fannie Willis was heard telling the whistleblower that she's aware that she and Coffee does not get along. I believe that's the name of the person they were talking about. And then the whistleblower said it's dangerous here in administration. So apparently they were a lot of friction going on in the office. And they were maybe telling on each other. Fannie Willis said she was going to look into it now. I'm wondering did she fire that person or is that person still employed? That is the question. That is why Jim Jordan wants an accountant of the federal grant money because it's a legitimate concern. As you leave the page, kindly hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you.